One of the big things that a lot of people don't realise with modern day cars is they've got electronic stability control or all these other acronyms that effectively control electronically the way your car handles. The black box obviously provides damn good value for you to be able to fine tune the handling of the car to suit your preferred driving style. You can then further refine the benefits of those products with other supplementary things like sway bars, springs and shocks. We've been now testing the black box uh, in the Nissan 350Z and it's a fantastic car itself but the problem I have is the factory systems are way too intrusive. You've spent a couple of hundred dollars coming to a track day, you want to get your fun out of it so with a black box it allows you to tune that for the way you want it. The stability control program on a standard vehicle is a help and a hindrance at the same time. By taking the control back you can dial in understeer, dial in oversteer or more to the point what we're looking for is to make the vehicle neutral. A neutral handling car get you around the track a whole lot quicker. Hi, it's uh, Wojtek from Road Ranger. I've just come back from the track, firstly having the uh, factory setting on. A lot of understeer coming through, no control, bad to wait. Uh, all the way out. We just cannot go any quicker than that. The factory dynamic stability control is making it very dull and very slow. We might as well be a passenger in this. So what we're going to do now is change the settings to a more controllable and faster setting that we can um, have a bit of fun. So we're just going to select one of the presets that we've set before. There's five presets plus a, a, an OEM setting. I thought we'll, go, we'll run with the preset number three. Volume 50, bias 20. So it should give us, if not oversteer, it, should, it will definitely cut a lot of understeer off. We'll go through the corner much quicker and be able to put more power down. Just get a lot better exit split. So we'll try that. Okay, let's have some fun. So much tighter through the turn. Straight away, I reckon we're about 5k up through that corner. Absolutely no understeer. We're going so much faster on these settings. The car just turns in, look at that. Turns in, power on, and we're out. Beautiful. And normally what it'll actually be is right out wide. Those settings have allowed us to turn right in, keep it nice and tight, while still having that stability control to override it if, it's, um, if it gets too hot and too hairy. As you drive into the corner with a vehicle stability control, the standard system, you turn into the corner, you want to get onto the power, but it won't let you because it actually physically grabs the brakes and slows the car down in the corner. The new system adjusts that from the front to the rear, so it actually keeps the power on and it also can utilise the, the, the stability control to the rear to actually steer the car from the rear. It gives you much, much more control. We have designed into the box five presets. Somebody can jump into the car and, and automatically choose one of the presets and very easily drive their car to a track and, and quite happily have a, a much better tuned stability control program. Three reasons why we developed the black box. One, most cars sold around the world now come standard with stability control systems. Reason two, mechanical components alone are not enough to tune suspension anymore. Reason three, we give back control to the driver. Mate, fantastic. Really made me look like a bit of a legend. Very different to the VE. This car probably handles better inherently, so you can feel the black box intervening and making me look good. But on the VE, just dramatic. Like, I mean, the car doesn't handle all that well to start with, so on the VE, the difference relative to this is really significant. Love it, mate. Want one, want one. The advantage of this system is that it gives you faster lap times, more control of the car, particularly mid-corner. It allows you to get on the power earlier and stronger. Now that you can adjust it, you can make it more usable for track days, racing, application. You then become back in control of the car rather than the car controlling you. And I think it's a big advantage. For me, the most satisfying thing about uh, playing with the uh, black box and changing the tuning in the black box was the ability to change the angle that I was allowed to drive the car through the corner. When I wanted a little bit of fun, a little bit of slide through a corner, I could hang the tail out and drive with confidence. In a modern day car, you have to start with an electronic control device such as this black box to give you the ability to fine tune the handling of the car. I like driving a car neutral, so when I go through a corner, I want it to do what I want it to do. So I could set the system up to suit my driving style, 
and I got faster lap times and generally I had a lot more fun driving the car. The normal reaction that we get from people after using the black box simply is, wow, I was able to make the car do what I wanted to do, not the car doing what it wanted to do. The beauty of the white line black box program is that it gives the control back to the driver, lets you tune how you drive. No two drivers are alike. The patented white line black box is only available through White Line Australia. It's easy to use, plug and play system.